Good morning, everybody. Our book for Wednesday is Up in the Garden and Down in the Dirt by Kate Messner with art by Christopher Silas Neal. I love this book because it's going to take a look at perspective, just like we did on Monday with Double Take, how uh, some things are up and some things are down and, and it's relative to your position. So I really like that we're connecting that theme of perspective and relativity. Well, good morning to you. He has a birthday in a couple days. Isn't that right? Up in the garden I stand and plan, my hands full of seeds, my head full of dreams. Spring sun shines down to melt the sleepy snow. Wind whistles through last year's plants and mud sucks at my rain boots. It's not quite time, Nana says. Down in the dirt, things need to dry out and warm up. What's down there, I ask? Down in the dirt is a whole busy world of earthworms and insects, digging and building and stirring up soil. They're already working down in the dirt. Up in the garden, we snap brittle stalks, scoop rustly armfuls, and wheel away weeds for the chickens. While they squabble and scratch, we spread compost over the soil. A lot of work goes into a garden. Down in the dirt, pill bugs chew through last year's leaves. I give a gentle poke. They roll up tight and hide in plated suits of armor, roly-poly round. I don't know if any of you have ever seen a pill bug, but it starts like this, and then if you touch it, it rolls up into a little ball to protect itself. Up in the garden, it's time to plant. I trail a furrow with my finger and sprinkle seeds in a careful row. Give them a drink, Nana says. We pat them down to snuggle in the dark. Down in the dirt, a tomato hornworm rests, waiting for wings, and the leaves where she'll lay her eggs. Trash bin are here. It's okay. Up in the garden, carrot plants sprout, pea blossoms bloom, Wasps are on the prowl, and honeybees visit, legs loaded with pollen. There we have some of the bees. I weed and wilt in sun so strong, even Nana looks for shade. Down in the dirt, earthworms tunnel deep. I'm jealous of their cool, damp, dark. See the earthworms down in the dirt? All of that happening while we just enjoy our lives. Up in the garden, rain shower. Nana turns the hose on me. Eee! Oh, there's Nana, turning on the hose. Oh, look at these little chickadees. Papa. Gento. Thank you. I hide behind the cucumber vines, but their leaves can't save me. I shiver and laugh, drenched in Nana's rain. 
down in the dirt, water soaks deep. Roots drink it in, and a long-legged spider still walks over the streams. Look at the roots drinking up the water, and there's the spider. Up in the garden, there's so much to eat. Ladybug feasts on apids. Nana crunches green beans. I bite a ripe tomato, warm from the sun. Juice dribbles down my chin. Hi, Papa. Gentle. It's a good book, isn't it? Down in the dirt, a robin's beak finds a cricket, a beetle, a grub. Slugs are scrumptious, too. Up in the bar garden, we pick cukes and zucchini, harvesting in the dark. Bats swoop through the sunflowers, and I pluck June brub bugs from the basil until it's time for bed. Down in the dirt, skunks work the night shift. They snuffle and dig and gobble cutworms while I sleep. In the garden, a praying mantis wakes to hunt mosquitoes. Nana sprays away the apids, and I'm after grasshoppers, ready to swoosh. But... Snap! Someone else is faster. Down in the dirt, a smooth, shining garter snake crunches on supper. Up in the garden, the wind grows cool. Pumpkins blush orange and sunflowers bow to September. Nana ties them together to build a house for reading. It's okay, Peanut. Down in the dirt, an orb weaver spins her web. Strand by silken strand, she'll munch on moths tonight. Up in the garden, colored leaves litter the squash vines, and we know the cold is coming. Hurry, hurry and harvest. There's enough for the neighbors, too. Down in the dirt, frantic ants gather what we leave behind. They're storing food for cooler days ahead. It's a good book. Up in the garden, Frost draws lace on leftover leaves, where secret egg sacs hang, waiting for the warm to return. We say goodbye and spread the winter blankets. Down in the dirt, beetles burrow, ants scurry home, earthworms curl tight in the dark. When grandpa calls us, for, calls us in for soup, an autumn moon is rising. Up in the garden, dry corn stalks tremble, and the wind smells like winter. It smelled like winter yesterday. But the long ripe days of summer still rest in the garden beds. The ladybugs and bumblebees, earthworms and ants are hunkered down, 
hiding, biding their time. Dreaming of sunshine and blossoms and sprouts, under the bare arms of trees and the blanketing, blanketing snow, a whole new garden sleeps down in the dirt. Love the author's note here. Every garden is a community garden. Do you know why? You may work hard planting seeds and pulling weeds, but plants can't thrive without the help of all those smaller gardeners down in the dirt. Some help by controlling pests that would like to gobble up your broccoli and tomatoes before you have a chance to eat them yourself. Some help by creating tunnels which bring air into the soil and let water drain more easily. And believe it or not, some help just by going to the bathroom right there next to the green beans. This adds important nutrients to the soil. A healthy organic garden isn't a garden without bugs. It's packed with lots and lots of living things, all working together with the human gardeners, with the human gardeners to nurture healthy plants. Love the whole cover of the book. When we look down here, we can see what happens above, up in the garden, and down in, in the dirt. So a lot of planning goes into a garden and some things that we have, uh, some things that we want to sprout in the springtime, we've already planted and we're just waiting for the right time. It's a little bit or a lot like learning something new. We plant the seeds with information well before we need it and then, as we learn more, we make connections to what we knew, and our own mental garden begins to grow. So, great book, really calm book today. Really calm book. Have a great day, kiddos. See you soon.